What's good, brotherhood? This is Men of High Value Channel. Today we're discussing the 80 hour work week and how you can force yourself to get started and to do what needs to get done on a continual weekly basis in order for you to get where you want to go. I got a great comment on my last video by Prosperity Pilot. High five to you wherever you are in the world. He says, thanks for the video. I love this new format. Do you have any brain hack to force myself to work 80 hours a week in a situation where I can and should work 80 hours on a boring job, but I don't have a boss forcing me to do it. Now my reply below, which is quite interesting, is the framework is to develop an amazing attitude while being forced by a boss to do it. Now, this is very interesting because this is an entrepreneurship channel and I teach people how to start and succeed with their first business and all other businesses beyond there. But if you can succeed in your first business, you're going to succeed in most of the businesses that you're going to undertake. The times when people fail are very often their initial businesses until they succeed in their fourth or fifth or sixth project after having failed many, many, many times. You don't have to fail in your first startup. Okay, you can actually succeed because the reason why people fail in their startups is because they do not have the right work ethic. I cannot emphasize this enough. This is the only reason I would say 80%, 90% of the time is because of a lack of work ethic to actually follow through with the plan that they had in the beginning in order for them to succeed with the startup. And it just didn't happen. And then people blame it on cash flow. It's not cash flow. It was your dang work ethic that sucked and all of your personal life issues and whatever. And in the end, it all comes back to if you had a mentor or not, because the mentor would have helped you to tackle your personal life issues in order for you to succeed. But it is what it is. So what are we going to reply to Prosperity Pilot? I would assume that he is in a situation where he is doing probably Uber or he is doing DoorDash or he is doing delivery thing, which means that he doesn't have to go to work on a daily basis if he doesn't want to and I see a lot of guys doing this these days is because well it gives you a little bit more freedom and you can earn this and that and you can work more hours if you want to I highly recommend against doing this in the beginning of your career of making money and if you want to become an entrepreneur in the future is because it gives you too much freedom up front. You do not want too much freedom up front. You want as much slavery as possible in order for you to understand what it's like to do the 80 hour work week while at the same time having a fantastic attitude while you do the 80 hour work week, while you're being watched over by a boss that you, perhaps you don't like in order for you to understand what it's going to be like or what it should look like when you are building your own business. Most people never go through a difficult circumstance before they ever start their business. In today and age, you, you have the government basically backing you up at times. It's not going to last forever, but right now you've got the government to kind of give you a handout if you're not actually doing anything. That's a problem. When you understand that the biggest issue in your future startup is your lack of work ethic and your negative attitude, because that's all lack of work ethic is, is you don't want to do this and you don't want to do that and your feelings are leading you this weird direction or that direction, but not doing the right thing at the right time when it needs to happen. It's your lack of work ethic, which is also your lack of having a fantastic attitude. How do you get a fantastic attitude while doing the 80 hour work week? by doing it in a shitty situation where you are forced to do it by a boss. This is why I encourage everyone very often, especially if you don't have a mentor or part of the Men of High Value community, get yourself three jobs. And let me explain how it would look like. And I've explained this many times before, but I want you to understand it. You have a full time job that's you between eight to four, something like that, nine to five is fine. And then you have a second job right next to that one job, logistically making it perfect so that you can run towards the next job immediately after. And then you work there as an evening shift for maybe four hours, five hours, absolutely maximum. Make sure that you get home before 9, 30, 10 o'clock. That'll be perfect in order for you to sleep, in order for you to go to work the next day. Now, 
with this circumstance, you can begin to develop a positive attitude. Now you can check yourself and see if you're managing to be consistent in that specific circumstance. At the end of the week on Saturday and Sunday, you can either work the second job 12 hours a day on Saturday and Sunday, or you can have a third job that is only on Saturday and Sunday, and now you have three jobs in the 80 hour work week. Congratulations. You're on the right track to create massive amounts of success in your life because you will realize very quickly that you do not ever want to be in this situation ever again where you're doing the 80 hour work week working for someone else. But you begin to develop a positive attitude because you're learning about business on the side and you're getting obsessed with it. You're thinking about it all of the time, all of the time, all of the time, which is going to get you obsessed. Okay. Now, once you're obsessed, that's when you can begin to make massive strides in business. Actually, it is only the entrepreneurs that are massively obsessed about their, their startup or their business that eventually succeed in their business. And why? Why is it that obsession takes them to the end, you know, to the land of their dreams in that business? It is because with obsession, you have a massive work ethic, the 80 hour work week, and you've got a fantastic attitude because you're committed to a level where you know that you're going to do what needs to get done in order for you to get the results that you seek because you're obsessed about it. You're not thinking about anything else and especially not addictions. We need to get you out of the obsessed about addiction perspective and into obsessed about your financial future and the way that things are going to look like long term for you because you are doing things that other people are not willing to do. How many people are willing to do the 80 hour work week just the way that I explained it? Very, very few. Okay, less than 10%, maybe even less than 5% of the people watching my videos will be willing to do that stuff. Those are the ones that are going to succeed. And by the way, those are also the ones that are going to have the cash to invest in mentoring and community in order for them to think like an entrepreneur. You know that right now you're an employee mindset and then you want to quit your job or just have one job and then build a business. You will remain in the employee mindset if you're not spending time with entrepreneurs. You need to develop the entrepreneur mindset, but it's hard. It's very difficult to do that when you're spending eight to 12 hours every single day with employees talking to customers that are negative. Do you understand how crucial it is to go through that in order for you to massively fortitude your attitude, right? Strengthen it and nurture it and change it and change your brain structure and be okay with being rejected continuously while still being fired up outside your brain. It's a, it's a challenge. It's a struggle but at least you'll have cash flow. At least you won't start your business in a needy position. And at least you will know that you're going in the right direction, saving up, preparing yourself with the work ethic and preparing your attitude to handle the 12 hour workday with a fantastic attitude, despite circumstance, once you do start your business. If you do hire us, Men of High Value, make sure you DM me on Instagram at Men of High Value. If you do do that, you might not need three jobs in order for you to succeed because you'll be spending time with us and we'll make sure that we hold you accountable to actually do the business building. But if you can't do the business building, go straight back to basics and get yourself three jobs. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.